In this video, we will create a WordPress shortcode that displays the Google reviews without using any plugin. In the second part of this video, we will then update the design and create a carousel or slider. On my WordPress local site, I have activated the WordPress 23 child theme. Let's see the child themes function file. As you can see, I added the Google Maps endpoint. When we open it, it shows an error message saying we must have an API key. Now, let's get that. Google search the term Google Cloud Console. For a first-time user, we can try the 90-day free trial, so I'll select that. Next, let's fill out these fields. After we are done, let's go ahead and create a new project. I'm going to name it the Google Reviews Project. Make sure you select the project. Next, link your billing account for this project. After that, let's enable the APIs. Search and enable the Places API. Next, enable the Maps JavaScript API. After that, let's create the API key for this project. Go to Credentials and create an API key. Copy and save your API key. Next, we need the place ID of a specific Google business profile. For this example, I will search a New York dentist. I'll select this one with a 4.6 rating. Copy the address. Now, let's search this to the Place ID Finder.
copy and save the place ID. Now that we are done getting the API key and place ID. Let's go ahead and start creating the shortcode. I'll create a function called display Google reviews. Add shortcode, the shortcode name, and the function name for the second parameter. Let's add a return of the text string Google reviews to see if it works. Alright, let's go back and create the variables for the place ID and API key. Next, create a URL variable and assign this to the endpoint. Let's add a parameter to it. Append place ID with a value of the variable. Append the fields with the name, rating, user ratings total, review. And finally, the key with the Google API key value. Next, let's create a variable that performs HTTP GET request for the URL. After the request has been sent and the response has been received, let's create a variable that calls the JSON underscore decode function on the body of the response. The JSON underscore decode function converts this string into a PHP variable, in this case, an associative array, which is then stored in this variable, data. Next, let's create a variable called reviews that will access the reviews inside the result array. Let's run this URL on the browser and see the JSON data. I notice my mistake in the key value. I'll update this with the API key variable instead. So, this is our Google reviews data. Let's continue and retrieve this.
I'm going to add the OB start function since I will add some HTML markup for the reviews. Let's add the container dev. Inside this dev, let's loop to each review item using for each. I will echo a dev container that will hold each review we have. Next, create variables which we will then assign the review data. To see it working, let's echo the name variable and update the return to ob get clean. So far, it's looking good. Now, let's create another variable for the star. Let's get the icon via the Font Awesome website. Search and copy the SVG code. Next, let's echo a dev that will hold the rating values. I'll adjust the SVG size by adding a maximum width. Now, let's create a for loop so the number of times the star will be displayed depends on the rating.
We're almost done. Let's add the rest of the data. Now, we're finally done with the first part. In part 2 of this video, let's make a carousel or slider and update the design. Thank you for watching my video.